Uh, depth, depth and that next man up attitude. You know, I think we've had it all year. Uh, pretty fortunate with injuries all year, but they have come along. And when they have, uh, guys have responded, guys have stepped into the lineup. Um, you know, it was a, uh, a dig deep kind of gut check game there the other night. Uh, Hawk and Paul went down. Uh, obviously, Heiskanen was playing hurt. Uh, Delandria went down with the flu. Marchman went down. You know, everybody stepped up and found a way to grit out a win. Do you have any updates on the availability of those guys? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, nothing looks serious or long term, but uh, I would put them all as game time decisions tomorrow. I know a seven game series can kind of be a chess match with a series of you know responding moves from each team. My game five is. Did the chess moves kind of run out a little bit? Yeah. Is it just more about talent and grit? Or? Yeah. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right. I think the chess moves do run out. I think there's a real familiarity between the two teams by this point in the series, and it's just whoever can kind of impose their game on, on the other team for the longest amount of time. It's scary almost how many similarities on paper there seem to be from the round one series and how yeah. they played out going six games and how this thing is trending right now. Are there similarities in your mind? Yeah, big similarities. You know, the first the first uh, four games feel real similar. Um, you know, let's hope game five and six are similar. Those were our two best games of the first round. You know, I thought I thought we really found another level, got better as the series went on. I think that's the goal here uh, tomorrow. What was the turning point in your mind with Minnesota? Uh, I think I think game four. Um, you know, I think the difference was. Uh, Jake stole us game four in Minnesota. We didn't play as well as we did last night. Um, you know, and when we stole game four, I think our, our group kind of woke up and, and found another level in five and six. I thought we played really well last night. We've got to maintain that level. You, you mentioned this last night, but now that you've had the evening to sleep on it, Miro's performance given what yeah. Yeah, it was it was amazing. I mean, we talked. You know, I used the word kind of epic with Joe Pavelski's performance in Game One with the four goals. You know, I, I would put Miro's uh, performance in that category too. Uh, coming, what he dealt with, kind of the 48 hours prior to the game, and then playing, and then playing at the level he did for the amount of minutes he did was, uh, you know, superhuman. For the more casual hockey fan, maybe how can you put into words just how important and special a guy like that is? Who's maybe not at the end of a lot of goals. Yeah, uh, he controls the game. You know, I think I think if you're a, any kind of hockey fan or come out to a Dallas Stars game, you know, you watch the game. You know, he, he he's a guy that jumps off the ice sheet at you because uh, he's always got the puck. He seems like he's always on the ice. He's always in the right spot. You know, so even if you're not a knowledgeable hockey fan, I think uh, you know his talents uh, kind of pop right out at you. Jake obviously had. Great performances in Game Five and Six last series. Is there any maybe switch you saw last series that could replicate, kind of, with this Game Five and Six? Well, I, I think that's his mentality. I think I think he understands as the series goes deeper the importance of the games, and and he has the ability to raise his level. That's what makes him elite. So that's what we're looking for. Robertson hasn't scored in five straight games. I think that's his longest drought since early December. Um, is he vocal about that in the room? He's not really concerned about it. Where is he at with that? Yeah, I, I think uh, he's a scorer, so of, of course he's concerned. I, I think that's a good thing for us. You know, we're, we're, we're still winning games. He could have had three last games, so I think it's just a matter of time. You feel like it's a positive regression deal, like he's, he's had opportunities? Yeah, 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 you're, yeah he, he's, he, he's not going to, this isn't going to last much longer. You know, you can tell every game he gets a little closer. I thought last game, you know, easily. Could have had a few, so I would expect. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's tomorrow night. I was doing a feature just on him with the King Clancy. How important is it to have that community service? And you know, it just yeah. seems like uh, he's this is the second year he's been nominated. Yeah, well, I think it's great, and it's great for young players to recognize uh, the importance of getting involved in your community and and charitable work and the responsibility that comes with being a pro athlete in a city. Um, and I think he gets that. Mm -hmm. uh, any more thoughts on that and just uh, trying to honor yeah. people tomorrow? Well, I mean, at the time, you know, I, I, the names and, and faces and ages of, of the victims weren't out yet. And as they, they roll out, you know, uh, you know it's, it's become even more horrific, right? Uh, how many young kids were involved? Um, 
but you know I, I said my piece on it uh, it was heartfelt um, but I don't want it to be about my perspective you know this is about uh, healing and hopefully coming up with some answers moving forward okay thank you reality of next man up like what goes into being able to replace guys in the lineup you know that have been injured so far this series well every team will have uh, injured players always you know so uh i think we have we got uh, enough good guys uh, to step up and uh it will be showed the whole whole season, you know. Even uh, if we lost the game before, we always showed up, came after, and whoever came in the lineup always showed up and uh, played a really good game. That's what happened again. Roddick, obviously, no team has won back to back so far in this series. In your experience, what's the key in trying to carry momentum and make that turn into two in a row? I think the the series is all about battles, you know. Uh, every time we won all the battles or most of the battles, we won the game. Uh, you know, uh, they're working really hard. They're a really good team. It'll be a tough battle, but uh, I believe uh, uh, they're good, good enough to win the series. And, uh, you know, we have home advantage right now, and uh, we have to take the series and uh, go to back to Seattle with, with the lead. When you think about coming off of the win in game two and then game three not going so well, do you feel like it was more of a letdown on your end or just Seattle really stepping it up or what? I think it was both actually. Uh, obviously, uh, when you have the first game of the series at home, you're pumped up. and uh, uh, But uh, it wasn't uh, wasn't a good game at all from, from our side. And uh, it was basically the series is the same like against Minnesota, you know. But uh, yeah, uh, for sure it will be. Take, it will take six or seven games, whatever it will take. We have to we have to do it, sacrifice and uh, uh, battle hard. And uh, for sure, we want to go with uh, with the lead back to Seattle. You mentioned you mentioned Minnesota. What do you remember from after Game Four? Was there a flip a switch that kind of flipped as far as what allowed you guys to go and finish the series out? Yeah, I think we learned from the Game Three uh, in in the series, and that's uh, what we have to do right now as well.